Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 12th of 2023. Well, it is titled Gibbous Moon Beyond Swedish Mountains. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see the mountains there and just above them, we see the moon. Now, what phase is this moon? Well, we can look at how it is illuminated and we have a full phase when we see the entire moon illuminated and we can see that we're not there at this point. The moon is not fully illuminated. Now, we see that it also is more than half illuminated, which would be quarter phase. So in between the full and quarter phase is called the gibbous phase. Now, in this case, because the left hand side is illuminated, this would be the waning gibbous phase. So we are going from full moon toward third quarter moon. And that means that the moon would be getting less and less illuminated each day. And a couple of days after this, we would have had the third quarter moon. Now, as we see the moon in there, we see the same face that we always look at. Now, one side of the moon always faces Earth, and that's because its rotation is locked to Earth. It orbits the Earth exactly as fast as it spins on its axis. So it always keeps one uh, one face toward Earth. And that's the only side of it we see. And in fact, it wasn't until the late 1950s that we got our first images of the other side of the moon, when early spacecraft were able to fly to the moon and around it, sending back images of what the far side of the moon looks like. Now, the other thing that we see in this image is an airplane. Now, the airplane, well, you can can plan perhaps if you know this and you have flight schedules and know where in the areas uh, planes are going to be flying. But more likely it's a surprise that you happen to get an airplane that comes through while you're taking the picture because you would have to plan for where it would happen to be and where you are located would change the perspective of the airplane relative to the moon. So a slightly different positioning here on Earth might have given the airplane flying across the face of the moon and another positioning would have had it much farther away. So it really depends because of the great difference in distances between those the moon could appear in nearly the same spot but the airplane could change drastically because it is within our own atmosphere and not all that far away relative to the much more distant moon. So that was our picture of the day for November 12th of 2023. It was titled Gibbous Moon Beyond Swedish Mountain. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Galaxy Mountain. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.